Hi everyone, this is Anson from AnsonAlex.com and in this video I'm going to provide an overview of using Box, which is a free cloud storage utility where you can store documents, you can create documents, and you can share them with other users. So to get started with Box, you just need to go to Box.com. This is the page that you'll be brought to, and then if you click on the blue sign up button at the top right of the screen, there's a free version which is the one I'm going to be showing you today, but there are other plans that you can choose from which basically increase the amount of users that can use your Box account, the amount of storage space you have, and the max file size of a particular file that you can upload to Box. So you can see that you know with the starter plan you have a hundred gigabytes of storage, the max file size is two gigabytes, you move up to the business plan, you have unlimited storage, and you can store files that are up to five gigabytes in size. Um, so again, I'm going to be showing you the free version today, but you can click on the blue button for whichever plan you'd like to sign up with. And once you get logged in, this is what Box looks like. It's very similar to Google Drive or Dropbox. You can store files in here. They're accessible from any computer with an internet connection or even mobile phones. Uh, so to kind of get started, you'll notice that right in the middle of our screen, we have this box that says we can drag and drop folders and files from our computer, our desktop, right here into Box. So I actually have a photo on my desktop that I want to move into Box. So I'm just going to move this window a little bit. I have one of my logos here, and I can just drag this right into Box, and boom, here it is. The photo is now in Box. It's a JPEG. Um, I could click on it, uh, just hovering over it shows me a preview. If I click on it, it will show me a full size preview of what this document looks like. I could also bring in a Word document, a Pages document. Any type of document that you want, you can store in Box, as long as it meets the file size specifications based on the Box account that you've signed up for. Now let me close out of this preview here. You'll notice that we could also upload files by clicking on the blue Upload button. I could upload a single file or a folder that has multiple files within it. Now one of the cool features of Box is that you can actually create documents right here within Box. So if I click on this new drop down at the very top, you'll notice that I have a number of different options. I could create a folder to store my different files in so I can have a little bit of organization here within Box. I could create a new Box note, which is basically like a text file. It's a very simple kind of Word document uh, for you to just enter some notes into real quick. So if I click on new Box note, you'll notice that a window pops up. I can name the note whatever I want. We'll just call this test note. I could add a description if I wanted to. Click OK. And in a new tab, a file editing window appears once it finishes loading here. And I can go ahead and I can just start typing a note. You know, this is my document. I have some editing tools up here at the top, so I could change my text size, I could change the color, bold, italics, underline, bulleted list, numbered lists, check boxes, I can change my margins, I can add images, and I can add tables right here into the box note. Now the box note, like a Google Drive document, saves automatically, so you'll notice up here at the top right, it says that it's saved. I could click on this button right here to show a history of this document, which will give me all the changes that have been made to this document in the past. Now we only have one version right now because there isn't much information in this document, but it's a very cool feature similar to the revision history feature within Google Drive. I'm going to close this for now. And I can just close out of this tab and you'll notice that now in my list here within Box, I now have a test note and it's a Box note. So I have the image I brought in earlier and then I have the note I just created. If I click on this new drop down again, you notice that I can also create what's called a bookmark, which basically allows me to bookmark a page. So if I'm collaborating with other users on a project and they also have access to this box account, I could create this bookmark and I could just say, hey, there's this great website. It has a lot of technology tutorials. It's AnsonAlex.com. You know, we can put in the actual name and we'll just put technology tutorials. So now when another user goes into this box account, they will see this link right here. It's a bookmark and they can just click on the link to go to AnsonAlex.com. So that's a great way to share informative sites with other users that you're collaborating with here in Box. Clicking on new again, we can also create Google Docs right here from within Box. Uh, so if you're a Google Apps user, that's great to be able to do this. Um, you might just want to use Google Drive if you're going to be creating Google Docs, but it is a feature that Box allows. And you can also create Word documents here within Box. Now to do this, we actually have to download the desktop version of Box called Box Edit. I'm not going to do that right now, but if you were to download this program, you could actually compose Microsoft Word documents that would be automatically stored here within your Box account. So that's another great feature. You can create Google Doc documents or Word documents right from within Box. Now, we have a number of 
different files listed in our box account now. And you'll notice that to the right of these documents, we have some options. So the first one is we can share a file here in Box, which is probably one of the main reasons that you're going to use Box. So you can store your files, they're not going to get lost, and then you can share them with other users. So if I click on the Share button, you'll notice that a link appears. And now I could copy this link to my clipboard and I could send it to somebody by email or text message, however I want to send that. Now to the right of this link, there's this little drop-down menu that basically specifies the visibility of this document. So if I specify that people with the link can access this document, it actually opens this document up a little bit. Anybody with that link will be able to access it. So if it's an important confidential document, you want to be careful with that version of sharing because it's, it's in theory, it's accessible by anybody. Now they need the link, they're probably not going to stumble on it by accident. As you can look at the link, it's a whole bunch of gobbledygook. But if it's a very secure document, be careful with that. What you might want to do instead is share it with people in this folder. Which means that no random person on the internet with a link is going to be able to see this document. But people who have access to this particular folder, and in this case, I don't have a folder yet, but we could put this in a folder, and, and I'll do that in a few minutes, would be able to access the document. Um, so that is a more secure way of sharing it. If at some point in the future you decide that you don't want this document to be shared at all anymore, you can click on the Remove Link button. It says it will permanently remove the link, um, and that document will no longer be accessible. So that is how you can share a document. Now you can also add comments or tasks to different files here in Box. So we could say, you know, this logo needs to be edited a bit. And um, I could just add the comment. It, now if I just add the comment and I don't create a task, there's not going to be any reminder that we need to do something with that document. Um, it's just going to be a comment associated with it. So I just add that comment. Now let's say we want to actually assign a task instead of just a comment. So I could click on this assign a task button right here and we could go ahead and say, you know, let's say it's the same thing, you know, this logo needs to be edited. Now I could enter a name or an email address of a specific person. So I could just say, you know, it's me, I'm the one that has to edit it and I can put a due date. So I can say it's due on Friday and I can add this task. So now that user will be reminded when they log into their box account, they should also receive an email that there is a task associated with this document that needs to be completed. Once the task has actually been completed, we can just come back in here into box and we can click on the complete button to let us know that, hey, it's been edited, that no longer needs to be completed. You'll notice that the yellow highlight disappears so that I know there's no open tasks associated with this file. To the right of the file now, over the comment button, we can see that there's two there, meaning two comments or and or tasks have been made associated with this particular file. We can add this file to our favorites list. So if I click on that, you'll notice that the little star is now yellow. And on the top right of my screen, this document is going to appear under Favorites. So this is great for documents that you want to access on a regular basis. As you use Box, this list right here is really going to start to fill up. And you might have trouble finding certain files. You can always search up at the top. It's, it's a very powerful search. But if you hit the star, it'll be added to your Favorites. So you can easily access this file just from the Favorites list. Notice that when I open up this file in the preview, I now see the comments and tasks associated with the file as well. So that's another great feature. I'm going to close this out for now. There's also a drop down menu with some more options. Um, so we could actually download the file from here. If we had a business account, we could lock the file, meaning there'd have to be a password used to open it up. Um, we can add tags to associate this file with a particular category. Uh, maybe we've got you know business files and personal files, something like that. Uh, this is where you can also delete the file. Uh, you can copy it. A whole number of different options from this drop down right here. Now there's a few other things I want to show you here within your Box account. First of all, there is a View Options drop down up here at the top right. It looks like a little eye symbol. And we can choose how we want to sort our Box list. So we can sort by date which is date modified. We can also sort by name, the size of the document. We're currently in the list view. We could change that to icon view and you'll notice that we have a slightly different view of these documents. We do see a little bit of less information about each document unless we click on it to open it up. So I actually prefer the list view. 
if somebody were to share a file with you in box or add a task for you to complete to a file you would see a notification appear up here on this little inbox symbol which is where all of your notifications are so um, I could click on that notifications and I'd see any notifications that I have to go back to my box files I can just click on the folder icon if I want to edit some of my account settings I can click on the drop down to the right of my name up here at the top you'll notice that I can uh, view my profile so I can edit my profile a little bit um, I can edit my address I can upload a logo that kind of stuff um, I can go to my account settings I can look at what collaborators I'm currently working with here in Box. Now with my free account I don't have the ability to add any collaborators but I could basically add a collaborator to this Box account so that somebody else could come in see these files work with them and collaborate with me here in Box. If I click, click on this drop down again you'll notice that you have a few other things in here. Um, you can access your trash if you've deleted something and you want to recover that you can go to your trash um, you can download third-party apps from Box, which are similar to third-party apps for Google Drive as well. So you might want to look through this on your own time. There's a number of different options in here. Uh, we'll go back to our file menu, our list of files here in Box. One other thing that I want to show you is that on the right side, towards kind of the middle of the page here, you'll notice that we have some information about our Box account. I'm currently using the personal account. That's the free version. I could upgrade that from here if I wanted to shows me how much storage I have so I have 10 gigabytes of available storage and I've used 43.6 kilobytes so right now I have plenty of room to add more files um, so this is kind of the basics of using box you can upload files either by dragging files in clicking on the blue upload button you can create files by clicking on the new drop down oh the one thing I didn't show you is creating a folder so I can click on new and I can create a folder here I can call this uh, why don't we call it logos I have the option of whether I want this folder to be private so only I have access to it which would be the keep private for now button or I can actually invite other people to have access to this particular folder so I could just enter their email address or if they're already one of my collaborators I could just enter their name here and then I can specify what type of access they have to this folder can they edit the folder can they upload download files edit files or can they just view the files within it um, so that's up to you. Uh, for now, I'll keep it private. And we'll click OK. So now in my list here, I have a folder. It's called Logos. I could then click and drag my logo into the Logos folder. You'll notice that the logo is no longer in my list. Next to the Logos folder, there's a little number one telling me that there's one file within that folder. If I click on Logos, it opens it up. And here is my logo. To the right of the screen I can see any collaborators that have access to this particular folder and I could share a link to this folder with the button down here to the right. If I were to upload a file right now or create a new file it would appear and be stored within this particular folder. So you can kind of have a hierarchy here. Let's say we go back by you know here's our little hierarchy of where we are within our box folders. Let's say we go back to the all files section maybe all the files in this area are private only I have access but I have uh, a graphic designer that needs access to the logos folder so I could simply share the logos folder you know with that particular person um, and then they wouldn't have access to all of my other folders and files here within box but they would have access to the logos folder and everything inside of it I'm actually going to delete that link right now um, so that is a great option for uh, having different levels of security within your box account I hope you all found this video helpful. Don't forget to check out my other tutorials here on YouTube or on AntsAndAlex.com. I have a number of tutorials on Google Drive, Gmail, Google Calendar, Dropbox, Evernote. Now, if you enjoyed this video, I would really appreciate a thumbs up here on YouTube. Please let me know in the comments section either here on YouTube or on AntsAndAlex.com if you'd like to see some more advanced tutorials on using Box and specifically which features that you'd like to hear more about. That's all I have for you for today. This is Anson from AntsAndAlex.com.